Hi everyone, this video is going to be an exclusive swatch video for Too Faced Le Grand Palace palette or set. This is a Sephora exclusive for holiday 2015. It is currently available through Sephora's website for purchase and it retails for $58. As always, this video will be for live swatches of the color so you can truly see what they look like and I'll give you my first impressions of the quality. But for a more comprehensive review after I've fully tested out the products, please go to the link in the description box below to the review that will be up at allurebeauty.com. And please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. The latest video was also a giveaway video that I do every month. That's the What's New in Beauty video where I show you new products that are out on the market now and I give you a handful of the products in a beauty grab bag giveaway. All right, let's get looking at Too Faced Sephora Exclusive Holiday Kit. So the kit itself comes in a box like this that opens up at the top, kind of like a present would open. And then the box itself folds out and inside you get sort of this pop-up scene here that has three deluxe sample size items. You get the Better Than Sex Mascara, you get one of the Melted Liquefied Lipsticks in the shade Peony, and you get a Shadow Insurance. So I won't really be swatching these for you in this video because I'm going to concentrate on the palette, which looks like this. It's made of heavy cardboard, it's very flat. It does close via a small magnet and it does not contain a mirror inside, unfortunately. These are the colors that you have in here. So we have 18, a total of 18 eyeshadows, and we have two blushes at the bottom here, a highlighter and a bronzer. So here are the shades up close. I won't read each of them to you since they're already printed. You can see them there, but I'll first swatch these three larger sized shadows. They're more like lid shades slash base colors. And then I will swatch them by row and do each row in its own set of swatches. And as you can see, you're going to get a mix of very metallic and glittery shades, but also a few matte shades mixed in, which I always really appreciate. These are the two blush shades that we are getting and then the highlighter, which is shimmery, and the bronzer, which is also very shimmery, so not really a candidate for contouring. It'll only just be bronzing. Also, when I got my kit, this pan was had fallen out, so that's why it's a little bit dirty here, and I did have to press it back into the pan or the well. So I'm going to start with the blushes, actually, and I'm first swatching for you Stardust which is a medium pinky coral shade. Looks like it has a matte finish. I'm gonna apply a second layer here. Looking up close, it's sort of more like a satin finish. It's not completely fat, flat, but it certainly does not contain any sort of shimmer. And the other blush shade is Skyline. This is a purple-based pink. And again, I'm going to apply two layers for each of the shades. Alright, so there are your two blush shades up close. This one also doesn't have a lot of overt shimmer, but they both have kind of a sheen to the finish. Moving on to the highlighter. This one is called Flush. It's a very pale champagne-y shade, but not a lot of color, so it'll pair well with lots of different cheek shades. And the shimmer particles, I'm adding a second layer, are pretty refined, so you get a nice sheen, but it's not too strong or in your face. And next is the Sun Bunny Bronzer. And this has just as strong of a shimmering sheen as the highlighter. And the color is good on this bronzer, so I'm adding a very light second layer. With the blushes, I applied two full layers, but with this one, I'm just really adding just a little more product. You get a golden sheen in this medium warm toned bronze color, tan color. Okay, so applied with an angled powder brush, that's what your highlighter and bronzer look like. All right, moving on to the shadows, I'm starting with the three top base shades. This is White Christmas, which is a matte white. 
Next is Satin Sheets, which is a very pale pink with a pale gold duo chrome. And third is Vintage Lace. This is a soft yellow based cream color. It has a matte finish. Okay, so those are the three larger eyeshadows that are at the top of the palette. The next row of shadows begins with Delightful, which is another purple based light pink with a very frosty and metallic silvered finish. Next is Moon on their Wings, which is another very frosty and metallic shade. This one is more crumbly though. It's going on in sort of flaky specks. It's a very pale gold or champagne-y shade with silver flecks. Then we have Cobblestone, which is a cool toned light tan with a matte finish. Next is City Lights, which is a very warm toned, almost, well I wouldn't say even almost, it's an orangey based medium brown, also with a matte finish. Oh, well, actually looking up close here, this has a satin finish. It has a very tiny, subtle shimmer. And last in that row is Dream Light. This is also a warm toned medium brown, but this is more of a chocolatey brown. It has sort of a silvered metallic finish to it. All right, so below the base shades, this is the first row of eyeshadows. Up next in the next row is String of Lights, which is a very glittery, frosty silver. And actually the flecks in here are flashing um, green, purple, and silver, which is pretty interesting. Next is Yule Log, which is a deep cocoa brown with larger gold shimmer. Next is Wishlist, which is a soft copper with a metallic finish. Arc de Triomphe, which I know I'm pronouncing incorrectly because I don't speak French, um, is an interesting color. It looks just like a taupe in the pan, but on the skin I feel like I get a hint of plum. But mostly it's a very pale or soft, I should say, taupey color with silver shimmer in it. And last in this row is Belle Femme, which is a medium to dark milk chocolate brown with a matte finish. Okay, there is your next row of eyeshadow shades. In the next row, we're starting with Stiletto, which is a very deep matte brown. It looks like a soft black on the skin. Next is Eiffel which is a deep metallic and shimmering steel. It has a hint of an olive undertone. Next is Midnight in Paris. Similar formula, it's this flaky metallic shimmery shade. It's a deep blue with a lighter blue flash. I'm going to pat on some more color, try to get a more cohesive line of color, but it's mostly flaky shimmer. Champs-Élysées is a medium purple, sort of a little bit of a dusty undertone or great undertone. Again, a metallic finish. And last is Party Dress, which is a super bright magenta with silver shimmer. All right, there is your last or bottom row of eyeshadow shades. Okay, so there's Too Faced Holiday exclusive for Sephora kit. As you could probably tell from the swatches, we have a mixed bag in terms of quality of the eyeshadows. We had a good number of them that were just too flaky and they just crumbled on the skin. So I'm really not a fan of those kinds of shades. Now it is possible that they will improve on application when actually applied to the lids. That does happen sometimes. So that is one major reason why I encourage you to read the written review because I do that after actually applying them to my eyes. The matte shades for the most part I was pleased by. They were really smooth, great in pigmentation, so I appreciate that Too Faced included matte shades. 
So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this kit, if you are excited for Too Faced holiday items, and any other thoughts that you have about this video and this product. I hope that this was helpful to you and that it lets you know whether you actually want to purchase this for yourself or for someone else. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch and I will see you in the next video. Has messed up so many of my orders and has this last time just basically said F you and they don't care and they're not even going to respond. So.